everything is a rainbow and it's so beautiful. It was really moving. I think numbers really have the power to influence and it's just fantastic. All types of people coming together for this one cause and everyone has such different reasons for being here and everyone has such different beliefs. The strength of this campaign is just like how diverse it is. Fantastic today to see so many people come out in support of the need for urgent climate action. It's very exciting that people are still turning up in numbers to protest climate change. I, I remember going to the rallies in 2005 about climate change and um, they were very, very big and then the movement went into a lull but now it's come, it, it keeps coming back. There's these movements happening all over the world, there's 2,000 events and it's really great to be a part of. People's Climate March is um, happening in the lead up to the UN Climate Conference in Paris. We are hitting the streets to show that we really care about their decision and we want to keep it in line with the science. I'm learning to be a teacher actually and I know it's really important that we keep the environment as safe as we possibly can and conserve what we can. And we need the politicians to understand that we need green energy here and just to get the awareness out there for people who don't realise that climate change is real. It's a really crucial time. We're right at the crossroads with climate and whatever action we take now really has big consequences for our children and for following generations and our inaction will cost lives. My biggest concern with climate issues is um, in particularly with farmers in developing countries and how they've had um, like a climate that's been the same for a long period of time and with the sudden changes it, their crops die and they lose their jobs and it's very difficult. The people that are most affected by climate change are the ones that have not contributed to it the most. People across Australia and around the world are marching today to basically point out that we can't leave climate action to governments and their friends of big business. They don't have the right, the democratic right, just to pollute the planet for their own profit interests. Climate justice to me is about to make sure that you know big polluters aren't just kind of having a good time with, with all their money and not looking after people who will be affected by, by climate change. A lot of uh, the carbon pollution is coming from fossil fuels. And to stop climate change, we need to transition to renewable energy. The thing is though, when mining, fossil fuels is in the hands of big business and all they care about is making a profit, that is the biggest hurdle to tackling climate change. We need a different kind of society where the important resources aren't owned by private companies who don't care about anything except profit. We the community need to take control of those industries and that wealth to fund renewable energy. Public ownership of the mines is the first step towards the transition to renewable energy. Climate, climate, justice, climate, justice, climate, justice. I want climate justice. I want global warming to just halt and stop in its tracks. That, that it's a human rights issue, it's a justice issue for the global south and for the poor. It, it, it's not just a fluffy thing of middle class people can just change their light bulb. I want this to be taken on as an opportunity. I want to see system change. I want to see people using this to also stand up for what, what they believe in and, and what they want to see in the world. People just keep standing up and that's what we need uh, until we actually can force governments to take action. No more compromising! The seas are rising! 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 No more compromising! The